All right, Andrew here at TrueTrack, and today we're going to demonstrate the Vision new software interface with the Aspen and the Garmin G5. Condition broken at 9,500. Broken at 1, 2,000. Temperature. So we've listened to the AWOS, and we know that our altimeter is 3002. Normally, we would set our altimeter on our primary display. Push barrel here, we'll set 3002. And then we would push ALT twice on the autopilot. Now, since we're demoing the Garmin G5 and Aspen Evolution interface here today, because those two devices are communicating with the autopilot, actually one at a time, we have a switch in here. Because those are communicating, you'll see you have an E displayed in here. That shows we have an external airing source that is not the normal source we're used to, like a GPS. So because we have that E, that shows we're coupled to the Garmin G5. If it were an A, then you would, that would show we were coupled to the Aspen display. But with this E showing here, when I set the barometer on my Garmin G5, it automatically pushes all of that information over to the Vision Autopilot. So you don't have to set the altimeter there. Now we'll actually switch over here and we'll show that our Aspen is connected. And now you can see the flashing A there in the left-hand side of the Vision display. So when I set my barometer here on the Aspen display, it would also push that altitude and that barrel information over to the Vision Autopilot. flying a selected track of 290. Let's demonstrate our Aspen Evolution interface. So the heading bug on the Aspen is synced up with our current heading. Um, so let's change that just a little bit. Let's make a small turn to 270. And we'll push the mode button on the Vision Autopilot. And now we're in Aspen heading mode. So whatever we do with the Aspen heading bug, the Autopilot will follow. As you can see, we're entering that left bank. We'll roll out, roll out on that 270. Another really neat thing about the Aspen interface here is that it does a GPS steering pass-through as well. So because we already have a GPS flight plan in our GPS, I can just use our GPSS hotkey here on the Aspen E5. If I push that button, the autopilot will turn and follow my pre-programmed flight plan. So push the GPSS hotkey. Now we haven't done anything on the autopilot. Now here we go, we're in that right bank and we're gonna turn and intercept that flight plan to Siloam Springs, it looks like. 